Hey, this is Drake and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going over our adventure driven rigs. We just got back from a expedition this weekend and we thought what better time to show you what we have in our rigs than when they're fully loaded, kind of dirty, and just this is how they actually are when we are out on an expedition. So first off here, this is my truck. This is the 2015 Toyota Tacoma. Um, it's pretty modded, but a lot of people like these ones because they have the 4.0 V6 still. Um, I have a Pelfrey built front bumper with a 20 inch uh, Pro Comp light bar and then the rigid grill with the rigid 20 inch single row light bar in it. Um, haven't put the winch in yet, but that is kind of next up on the list. As we walk around to the side here, um, I have uh, KMC wheels, 17 inch wheels with Toyo Tire AT3s. These are 275, 285, 75, 17, um, which is a pretty large tire. I had to do a body mount chop and a lot of trimming to make these fit. Um, and then with these uh, custom fenders that are flared, I have zero rubbing at all uh, doing any obstacles, which is really, really nice. I am running a three inch lift from Toytech. It's their uh, boss suspension kit. Um, it's a little stiff for my liking even with the front bumper, but um, for now it does the job. Uh, moving along, I have some just cheap aftermarket uh, ditch lights. Um, and then in the rear, I have an all pro off-road. This is just their cheap bed rack, just two of them. And then I kind of built a custom mounting bracket underneath to support my Smittybilt rooftop tent. Um, Kind of a cheap tent, but it does the trick. It's way better than sleeping on the floor. Um, I got this off of Craigslist for about $700 and it's held up really good. We just got through 40 knot gusts of winds last night and it did the trick. Kept us warm, kept us dry. It always works. Um, in here I have things like Max Tracks, which we kind of broke these cheap ones. And I now use um, the Plano uh, tubs for all of my uh, food, propane, all that kind of stuff stays in there. I have a couple mounts. I'm using the bed rack to mount like an ax in there. Um, coming along the back here, I also have a cheap uh, awning uh, that I also got off Facebook Marketplace for about a hundred bucks. It's just a cheap Chinese knockoff, which I mounted off the back. So then when the tailgate's open, we can cook, prep. The awning goes out over us, which is nice. Um, using Model price cooler. Uh, if you haven't seen our video reviewing this cooler versus a Yeti, make sure to go check it out. We'll link it up there. Um, just a knockoff again, Costco uh, takeout or pack out box for food and stuff like that. Um, and then some cheap ditch lights that I mounted it there so you can see me when we're driving through dirt. Um, then again, just mounted a shovel on the side. And I think that's about it. I have a uh, a ham radio mounted inside the cab. I have GoPro mounted inside the cab and then you can kind of see potentially just a bunch of my camera stuff, sleeping bags, things like that. I just throw in the back seat. Um, but this rig worked for two of us. We've taken it out multiple times, just the two of us. Uh, camped, hunted, everything out of this rig. I do have my bow and stuff in the back there, which we were just using that to pass the time while we were camping. So yeah, this is the 2015 Tacoma and probably the next steps are uh, rack for the cab and a rear bumper and then probably eventually a new suspension either fox or king something like that but honestly this rig works really well for what it is so let's go check out the forerunner so uh this is andrew's uh 2010 forerunner which he did a uh, conversion on the front end so this yep. is like a 2014 front end yep and um but it's actually 2010 um, he did the conversion with the C4 uh, low, pro. low Pro bumper, so it kind of looks OEM. It's not as big as mine, but it and can also the, do a light bar and a winch, just like the Pelfer built. And added the high clearance parts to the side of the Low Pro, which gives you a little bit more armor and high clearance on the sides. Yep. And then what lights are you running up front? So I have the Baja Designs, um, I believe it's the S8. Uh, 30 inch up here and then just a kind of cheap Chinese 20 inch up here, which I'll get another Baja for up there, but that's there for now. Uh, and then your fogs. 
Fog lights are also Baja design fog lights. They're um, the Just, driving. Yeah, they're fog street lights. legal fog lights. Um, yeah. Alpha X headlights. These are awesome. Have nice DRLs. Um, running E box suspension. It's about a two and a half inch suspension. And then I have Camberg um, upper control arms on this. Running the same Toyo HE3 tires, a little bit bigger, it's about a 34 inch tire on Baja, or Black, Di Black Rhino uh, rims. Um, another, or same E-Box suspension in the back. Um, back here, which is nice, is I have a matching C4 rear bumper to the front bumper with this nice swing out gate. Um, it's great, it can hold. Uh, roto packs for gas, uh, max tracks, a spare tire, and then this nice little amp stove. Uh, yeah, you can put like a two, two burner camp stove back here, which is great. Um, got some nice rigging options. Um, yeah, that's it back here. And then up top, we have an Odin Designs tent, um, which we just put on there. Works great with the stock. Uh, Warner cross bars up there and that's kind of it right now. Big things to add in the future is obviously a winch in the front um, and maybe an upgrade in suspension here soon but it's pretty well it does great off-road. So that is a quick rig rundown of both the Forerunner and the Tacoma that we use um, all the time here in Colorado and they've also been all over California and other places um, again, we haven't gone crazy with the builds, but it's just enough to get us to go pretty much anywhere that we want to go. Um, and we'll keep you updated as we start changing these vehicles.